In this video, I'm Manny swapping with my friend It's a Nail Thing and I'm going to try recreating five of her designs. Let's jump right into it! Hey guys, it's Claris. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to hop over to her Instagram now and pick out five designs I'd like to try recreating. So this is the first one and this one is actually pretty old, 2015. But this is so cute. It's some roses made with toothpicks on a nice black background with some black dots. Now that we have our designs picked out, let's prepare our nails. By the way, here's something I've been doing recently. So instead of pouring the acetone into the cap because I keep knocking it over, I just pour it into this glass jar and it's a lot bigger and heavier so it doesn't tip over as easily. All right, now let's apply a new layer of peel-off base coat. I do find that after taking off peel-off base coat that has not been on fully enough to really harden and want to come off on its own, if I try to take it off before then, it's pretty hard and it usually leaves my nails looking all wonky and, and you can still see scraps of the peel off base coat from last time. Okay, so we're going to start off with a black nail polish and I'm going to paint the whole nail a black. And there we go. So I like to use acrylic paints when doing little details like these roses. So I have a light pink and a darker pink and then I have a white and then a light green. And just like she did, I'm going to use toothpaste. So I have my little pots of paints all ready. I'm going to start by using the light pink and making the bases for the roses. This is pretty easy. There we go. And now while I wait for those to dry, I'm going to use some white paint and make those polka dots. All right, that's done. Now I need another toothpick. Now I'm going to use the light green and make those leaves. Now I'm using my darker pink, this one right here, to just add some depth to it. Ooh, it's looking pretty cute. Can you guys see that? I think it basically looks almost exactly like hers, except her dark pink was a little darker than my dark. I think this turned out great, and this is a super cute design. I think it'd be perfect for spring. All right, so this is the next one. It's also very old, but how does this only have three likes? I mean, this is such a cute design. I don't have a stamping plate for that design, but I could freehand something. I really like the idea of the matte blue with the silver glitter. So for this one, I'm going to start off with the lighter color and that would be the light blue and I'm just protecting my finger with some liquid latex and I'm going to make a rounded half moon about two quarters about two-thirds up my nail oh I didn't mean for things to get this messy <laughs> and then with my dark blue I'm just going along that line and then I'm filling in the tip of the nail all right now let me peel this up and clean everything up all right so after a little bit of cleanup this is what it looks like i'm going to let everything dry now i'm taking my white acrylic paint and a small brush and i'm going to start painting a design on Okay, so I filled up that part with the lace pattern. Now I'm taking my clear nail polish and my little pot of silver glitter. So I'm using the clear polish to make a little line between the dark blue and the light blue. And then I can pick up the glitters and place them on in the line. Look at that! That was so cool to see the whole design come together. But we're not done yet, we have to do a matte top coat. So this is the next design. It's this really cool black and white marble. I'm guessing she might have done this one by doing the bag smoosh idea of putting the colors on the nail and then smooshing it. All right, so first off, this is probably going to be messy. So I'm going to first protect my finger with some liquid latex. Then I'm going to get out my white and my black nail polish. And I have this plastic sandwich bag that I use to make decals with. So first I'm going to paint my nail a fresh layer of white. A fresh layer? Oh, a fresh coat. <laughs> then I'm going to take my black nail polish and I'm going to be careful and try not to put too much, but I'll put, a, I'll put some there and then I'll put some here and here. Okay. And then I'm going to take my plastic bag and just tap it. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay, I'm kind of feeling that. It's kind of marbly looking. It doesn't look as good as hers, though. Hers looks much more 
wispy. Okay, you know what? I'm actually thinking that I'm happy with this. So I'm going to peel this up and we'll take a look and see what it looks like. Hey, not that bad. Let me do a little cleanup. All right, so that is the black and white marble nail. I think it's actually a pretty fast nail art technique. Like, I didn't need to wait for any of the coats to dry. This might be the fastest nail art design I ever did. Hey guys, I have a question. How long have you been doing nail art? I've been doing it for about two and a half months, but comment below your answer. I think it'd be cool to see how long some of you have been doing nail art for. So this next one are these really neat neon gradient nails. I really like the orange and yellow one with the palm trees. I think I'll do that one. What is that on the ring finger? Is that a dragon? All right, so for this one, it's a gradient. So I'm going to start off with a white base. All right, the white is dry. Now I am protecting my finger for the gradient. So for this vertical gradient, we're going to use orange and yellow. So I'm going to paint the orange on one side and then the yellow on the other. All right, let's sponge this on. All right, so the gradient is now dry. I have my black acrylic paint ready. So first I'm going to paint the land at the bottom of the nail. And then I'm going to make a tree trunk coming up like that. And then we have the leaves. Hey, not bad, huh? Now we have to make one in the distance like that. There we go. Hey, that looks pretty good. I'm really glad how this one came out. You know, it looks really complicated, but it's really not as you just saw me doing it. It's really not that bad. All right, this one is super pretty. Oh, cool. It's inspired by Robin Moses. This is really pretty cherry blossom nails, and I'm guessing the accent nail is dry brushing, but I'm going to do one of the nails with the branches on it. So for this one, we need a white base. All right, guys, I'm so excited for this one. I hope it turns out well. First, to create that streaking in the background, I'm going to use this pink. And I have this old frayed brush, which I think would be perfect for this. So anyways, I'm going to dip that in. And I'm just going to add some streaks to the side of the nail like this. Ooh, that's kind of cool. All right, I think I'm happy with that. Now I have this brown paint. And I'm going to paint on a couple of branches. And you know, my nail's so long, I might as well just add another branch down here, like that, maybe? Perfect. Okay, now let's make the flowers. And I'm just going to mix it with some black so I can make a darker pink. And that looks more like purple. Oops, let's try that again. Alright, let me try this. So what we're going to do is first make little round darker flowers. And then we take the lighter pink and just put it inside each one. Well, what do we think? I think the branches got kind of lost. <laughs> I actually kind of like how this came out. The colors are really pretty and really spring-like. And as for cleaning up the paint around the nail, I just used acetone, but you could also use water. But yeah, now we're going to top coat everything and we'll give a final review. All right, all the designs are finished. Now it's time for a top coat and review. All right, so I really like how this one turned out. I'm going to give my recreation a four out of five just because the pink is not the exact shade she had but I think this one turned out really well. For this one I'm using my matte top coat and I'm going to avoid putting it on the glitters because I think it might make them look matte and I don't think that's exactly what we want. So I really like how this one turned out as well. I really like how all these ones turned out. So the matte top coat hasn't dried all the way yet but it dried just enough for me to see what it looks like when it's matte and this is really pretty. I can see this being great for a more formal event when you really want to dress up your nails. Now on to the marble nail. This is an absolutely great idea for if you do not have a lot of time but you still want to do something really cool. It actually really does look like a marbled cabinet or something like that. So yeah, overall I'm very happy with this one and I learned a new technique. Uh, there can be a lot of color combinations for this. But this is a great start and I might end up doing this on all my nails. I'm not sure. All right, next is the Aloha palm trees. 
I really like this one as well. I have done a palm tree sunset idea like this, but it didn't have a vertical gradient, it had a horizontal gradient. So this is a very clever idea. A little bit out of the box because usually the sky's gradient is not vertical, <laughs> but it still looks really cool and it really gives some cool dimension to both the sides. And I also like that there is a palm tree, a smaller one in the background, so it gives some depth. It looks like it's farther away, doesn't it? And then we have the cherry blossoms. I think this one is super cute. Yeah, this is a really pretty design. And if I'm ever having a hard time thinking of what to do for like a spring nail, then this would be a great go-to. Well, this was so much fun, but have you ever seen those nail art hacks around and wondered if they worked? Well, hit the notification bell because next time I'm going to test out some more of those hacks and crafts to see if they really work or if they're just worth it or not. Be sure to check out It's a Nail Thing in the description. I have her YouTube channel and her Instagram there. Go check her out and give her a follow. Also, if you want some more nail art inspiration, I have a huge playlist of nail art tutorials in the description. So feel free to go and check that out. Follow me on Instagram at thepolishqueen15 for almost daily posts featuring nail art I do in between videos and swatches. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by liking it below, subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't already, share this video with your fellow nail artists, and comment below if you have any tips for me on how I can improve my YouTube videos in the future. I look forward to seeing your feedback and giving responses as well. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and have a magical day.